Okay, good morning and welcome to Ion HaMishnah. Today we'll be focusing on um, Prusbol again. Today's Mishnah is Rahe and Vav. Uh, I want to discuss Mishnah Vav over here. It says a halacha. In Kosman Prusbol al Karka. One of the stipulations they made when they enforced, when Hillel was masaking this idea of Prusbol, is that you have to have Karka. I mean, the borrower has to have a piece of land. Now, it doesn't have to be, it can be worth the Gemara says, feel all cruel, but even if it has a tiny piece of land that just grows one cabbage on it, um, that's good enough to write a prisma. Why were they so insistent? Why were Chazal so insistent that this person has land? Um, is it that the Rob says maybe you can go and collect it from the guy and then collect again from the guy? I don't know, meaning collect, I guess, whatever grows on the land and grow their land and, and collect again. It keeps on growing cabbages for a thousand years, it's growing cabbages. You and your children, and your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, etc., etc., could all collect those cabbages and pay off the $2 million loan. No, no, no. I don't think that's a shot. I mean, that's what the Rav says. I would say it's different. That idea of prosbol is based on the mentality of people. The whole reason the Torah says, lo egos, that you, you have to desist over here is because if you're trying, it's very difficult, as we mentioned, to collect a loan. Uh, for someone who's evading you and doesn't have the money to pay, it's going to be on your mind. And yeah, uh, that was the main reason. It's not gonna for that shirim, like we said yesterday. It's not gonna for the rich people because they're not gonna be able to enjoy their sabbatical because they're worried about the, the difficult process of collecting a loan. So Kazal said, don't worry about it. You don't get to collect any loans. All your loans are gone. You're losing all your money. It's nothing to worry about. I mean, it's nice to say that, but at the end of the day, you're still gonna you know worry now because you're losing your money. So therefore, the not gonna prosbol. That you should be able don't don't worry uh, about collecting your, your money during shemitah, right? But after shemitah, you'll be, still be able to collect this, so therefore it removes the worry, and therefore they can enjoy their sabbatical. Um, however, if there's no karka, if the person doesn't own karka, doesn't own real estate, the borrower. So when a person owns real estate, the mentality of people is is that. Even though he doesn't have money, he doesn't have cash, but real estate is worth something. This person uh, seems, in my eyes, has the ability to pay. So therefore, the whole point of the principle is the person shouldn't worry. The, the lender shouldn't worry about collecting his debt. Therefore, he's allowed to collect it after Shemitah is over. So he's not going to lose his money. But they said if the person has no karka, so then even though he he, he can still collect his, his debt after Shemitah, but... He's still going to be worried because this guy has no real estate. There's no, right, karkos or nechassim sheish tam There's responsibility. Uh, it's much easier. There's a responsibility. A person who owns real estate, he's a responsible person. He has what to pay with. The real estate doesn't go anywhere. They don't move. It doesn't move like money. So therefore, he has smichas das. I'll rely on the fact that even though technically maybe it's a really small piece of land, then he's not going to be able to get paid back, you know, the normal way with this land. But in terms of Zishav Adas, he say this guy is a proper guy. He has real estate, a little bit of real estate. I'm not so worried. Maybe this guy really will pay me back. So therefore, I take my mind off of it for Shemitah. And after Shemitah, I'll go ahead and get paid back my loan. And, and therefore, I'll have Yishav Adas. And therefore, they were Masaki. And it has to, the borrower has to have car, has to have land. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.